Okay, bye. You might wiggle a little, so don't worry. <laughs> I'll probably wiggle a little too, so sit still. So, um, should we start? Sure. You call it. You ready? Great. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for setting us you're up. You're so welcome, and we were just following up. And Diana had talked yesterday. Okay, and your doctor? Critchfield, Jeff Critchfield. Okay, and your position? In... I've got a couple. I'm a physician in the internal medicine group. Uh, and the chief medical experience officer. So when you had asked for the patient advocate group, that group's in my group, and then also the medical director for risk management. So when there's adverse events that go on, then I'm also involved in trying to figure out what can we learn from those to make things better. Well, now that's wonderful, because that I didn't know. Can I ask a really quick question in regard to sure, that? Sure, of course. Can you explain the concept of risk management abreast of patient advocacy? Because to me, they're complete dichotomies. I, I truly don't understand the, 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 the dislink, you know. As a matter of fact, if I remember correctly tw from 20 years ago when I looked at the organizational chart here, risk management was above patient advocacy. Yeah. You know, and, and to me that really speaks to this entire matter of the fact that this is all about corporate liability risk management and not about patient care, right. human rights, ADA, yeah. dignity, and everything else. Yeah. So I'm glad you told me that this was, you know, another hat that you were going to be wearing, but it kind of, you know, and makes me wonder if I'm just not going to be risk managed here right. and it's just going to be more delay. You must understand that not only do I have six years of videos and, you know, uh, uh, a signed confession from, you know, an experience that happened here 20 years ago about emergency. You know, I have an adjustment disorder. This has been going on for years. Yeah. And, I, and boy, is it feeling like it's going to go on again yeah, for years because I'm going to ask very, very specific questions and I'm not going to take being appeased. Yeah, I hear you. I, thank you for saying that. And I, you mentioned that the other day when you were in the emergency about, about the adjustment disorder and how long this has been going on. And I can't even imagine how frustrating it must be. So we'll, I can talk to you about the risk management. Is there other stuff you want to talk about? I just want to make sure we get the agenda set. I, I agree, but I want, to, I want the answer first about I the totally risk management. I told you give you the answer, but other things that you want to talk about just so I have a sense of that. Yes, there are many. We have okay. a whole list. What are the, some of the oh, I want to, we can wait till you answer the question. Okay, fair enough. So the, the org chart uh, changed in the sense that previously there wasn't uh, a chief experience officer. So I'm the physician lead for that. That's now two years old and this recognition of, in addition to safe care and high quality care, how do we also make sure that people feel cared about and that the environment is welcoming and open to them? And you've shared that's not something you've experienced here consistently. And so that's new, that's a new piece. And, and they asked me to be the physician lead along with the, the okay. city side. And how does that tie into the risk management part? I previously had been director, medical director of risk management and the piece there, for, that from my perspective, is when something happens that doesn't go well for patients, then we also need to try and understand what happened and what can we learn from that. And that, just again, for the, in terms of the agenda we have, that's what Terry and Chris are going to come talk about, is like having reviewed the videos, how do we make sure? So why isn't that patient advocacy as opposed to yeah, just great question. Yeah, great question. So the patient advocacy, the way we've got it set up now is um, if people come with grievances, that's one thing. And so that's the grievance office and that group reports the chief, chief experience officer and I'm the physician lead. And if people need wayfinding and then there's advocacy to help them with that, to help them move around. And then there's specific navigators and advocates over at the, the Avon Center that, uh, hey Terry, come in. Welcome. Hi Terry. Hi. This is Terry Denjomi, she's the Chief Nursing Officer, and Diane and uh, Hi, Diane, Carpeol, nice to meet you. Right? Mr. No, Garza, nice to meet you. Carpeol, thank you. And then uh, Mr. Garza. And Terry Dentoni. Thank you. And so he's uh, videotaped which we were talking about. Sure. So he just, we were just getting started. Yes, and, and, and I'm, the question on the table is about, you know, how I'm supposed to react with an adjustment disorder having been risk managed for two decades here through the Department of Public Health and San Francisco General Hospital, because you must remember my signed confession and the letter I got from Gene O'Connell stated on it quite clearly 
that you know emergency was going to respect the Impala law, and if anybody ever showed up, they would be properly triaged mm -hmm. and medically screened. Right. Period. Right. The end. Yep. Yep. Can I show you all the times I tried to come in and get assistance, and that didn't happen? I'm sure. I'm sure you can look at the videos on YouTube. Yep. No, I understand. Send you the links. I saw the video from April. Uh, and then that didn't happen for you. you didn't get the care and that's why I said yesterday I was apologizing you didn't get the care you came in re at expecting and requesting and then also understand well, you had the letter from your doctor about well stuff. to be honest with you he got assaulted no, to, no, no, no. Yep. to be honest with you I did get the care I expected oh, I that's see. what I've been receiving all along oh, trying to correct you know, I, I can show you the videos of all the officers that told me I was wrong. There was somebody, who was the person that stated that, you know, they kindly ask not to be video recorded and I had to correct them and say they don't ask, they demand. It's our way or the highway, there's the sign. Right. Okay. Yeah. We need to get back to kind of an agenda so that yes. we don't run out yes, of time. Yes, that's fine. Okay. So. You go first, please. All right, what I would like uh, is the copy of the doctor's letter from NEMS okay. that we brought in yesterday in order to get him emergency care. Okay. And we'll keep going, we'll get your agenda, your pieces out. And a copy of SF General's posted patient rights. I couldn't find them online and uh, or, and they're not, they're always behind a shiny glass, uh, shiny glass picture frame. Got it. And, and you were hoping to have something you could walk away with or take home with Yes, you. absolutely. Okay. Um, and just also, it's good to read through once in a while. Sure. Or for training purposes as well, because it's not the first thing on everybody's mind. Uh, I'd also like to throw in a copy of the in Paula policy. That's what we'd like to walk out of here at least. And um, there was also, I believe, um, when we went to the Sunshine Task Force, the person representing like, the communication specialist yeah. the communi represented that there was an Impala, uh, a triage log. Yeah. And a medical screening log to the task force to confuse and muddle the issues. Because well, let's well, let's do this. Thank you. This is great. And so, what I've, I've got Terry here in, um, uh, until around three. And one of the things we talked about yesterday, also for the agenda, was what was learned uh, from an, our review of the of the video and what's going to change. You know, we talked theoretically. About fair theoretically. enough. And you're, when the rubber meets the road, you'll believe it when you see it. <laughs> right. Correct. I hear. I heard you. And I'm fair enough. How could you think otherwise at this point? Right. I get it. Well, it's, it's quite easy. Pardon me? It's quite easy to be yeah. able to think otherwise at this point. And so what I was thinking was, um, with Terry here, she's overseeing, she's uh, working with Chris uh, uh, around what are we doing differently based on what we saw in the Chris in Caldwell. Don't be here. Oh, okay. The director of, on okay. the physician okay. side, just okay. kind of, this is, you know, nursing, physicians. Right. Um, and then uh, with the time we have left that, I can also just share with you what we're doing with the policy stuff, which also includes how are we engaging with the sheriffs. And DEM, the Department of Emergency Management, because if I come down and the sheriff says you got to leave, and I try to call for the San Francisco police to come out here and mm -hmm. do civil standby, I called the Department of Emergency yeah. Management five five three zero one two three for you know them to send somebody out. They will say, "Excuse me, the sheriff has sole jurisdiction." Oh, I see. Okay, it's helpful to know that. And you know. We can send somebody out, so of course your rights can be vital. Okay, yeah. My hope is... Oh, okay, again. let me finish, please. Oh, pardon me. And we also want to deal with somebody from the San Francisco Police Department because I came out here with them two years prior to try to get into emergency three times. And I turned them into licensing and certification. Them and security both told me that I couldn't videotape and escorted me off. <laughs> and exactly what happened before. We've got prior incidences that need to be reinvestigated. You know, if, if this one has been self-reported, by the way, when was this self-reported? Um, we received from CDPHU, someone had made a On the 27th, correct? Correct. When we did not have the video at the time, when we saw the video. I'm confused. What do you mean you didn't have the video? Where did I get it from if you, at was the it time you guys? In April, 
when this was, we did not have the video at the time. So, so okay. wait, wait, wait. I'm not confused just, by the terminology. I, I have an adjustment okay. disorder. No. You did have the video, you just didn't have access to it. We did have access to the video. You. I'm, I apologize for my work. And the minute we saw the video, we self-reported to CDPH. And when, when was that? Um, I can get the exact date. It was a week ago, Wednesday or Tuesday. on YouTube? No, it was before, it was we, Monday or Tuesday. I, I can get the date from Jake Lou. I don't have the date, but it was around that period. Jim, do you want me to, uh, Jim, to introduce that? Okay? Hold on. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah, I mean, I tried to do the right thing and I probably just screwed myself.